What's up everyone, Dimebot here, and welcome back to Flight Sim and the 2023 Favorite Places to Fly World Tour. Today, we are way far north. Give you guys an idea here. We're taking off from Long Year, and there is a very good reason for that. Let's go ahead and get flying here. So, yeah, we are, we are very far north up in Norway. Uh, we're going to be checking out... For sure, one thing, and I'll point you guys in the direction of something else. We're going to be looking at the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Uh, should be easily visible. And in addition, there is a KSAT uh, Global <clears throat> Ground Station Network station near here. Now, that is basically a uh, network that's poised or network that is positioned to provide support for space missions anything from low earth orbit to the moon you see us taxing here let's go ahead and get flying but first let's make sure i turn my assistance options back on you would think that the note on my desk that tells me to turn these back on after every video would do some good but apparently it doesn't so run the throttles up get going here so to continue with case at it's 270 antennas in 26 locations actually continually being developed, so that number's probably going to change. There is a KSAT station near here, but I'm more interested in the uh, Svalbard Global Seed Vault. This is a runway. We are up, though. All right. Let's get the gear up. So the Seed Vault's just behind us. Now, again, as I always tell you guys with these videos up in Norway and the Northern Reaches, change your time of year because if you come up here with it set to the normal default weather, it being November right now, you are going to have a very hard time getting daylight hours. Here we are. There you can see the KSAT station. That is a lot of high-tech equipment down there. Give you guys a good look at it as we pass over. Pretty impressive. Now, we're going to dip down here and take a look at the seed vault. Now, this Valbar Global Seed Vault is a secure backup facility for the world's crop diversity. Basically, it is long-term storage for duplicates of seeds conserved in gene banks from around the world. It's not very big on the outside. You can see the entrance right there. Let's hope I don't crash from this view. It is dug into the mountain. We are going to get a massive fines from the uh, <laughs> Norwegian equivalent of the FAA. Also, if I didn't have uh, sim rules turned off, we would just rip the wings off of that plane. It's, it is intended to secure the world's food supply against, you know, accident. War, sabotage, disease, natural disasters, all that kind of thing. Now, it is dug 130 meters, that's 430 feet, into that mountain back there, which is sandstone. Has massive security systems. And it's basically positioned so that It'll stay dry even if the sea level rises, if the ice caps melt. So, pretty interesting. Alright, here we go. And it is definitely something that might be accessed soon if global warming and climate change continues like it has. But it's a very interesting project that was started. It's way up here, as you can see, to the north. Very remote island, limited access. Love seeing the ships docked here. So, let's give you guys a look at the VFR. Show you exactly where we are. There is a meteorolog meteoro meteorological station there. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that word today. And then we start to get back into Europe. So, it's a fair flight. Definitely something cool to come see, though. 
I would encourage you to read more about it. There's a lot that goes into this facility that I just cannot cover in one of these videos because I try to keep them short for you guys, but yeah, it's, it's a lot. This would be a great place to leave from if you want to practice some over the water. Just uh, know that you're not going to get a whole lot of huge planes off the ground here. Um, probably get some of the airliners off the ground. That is a natural gas container ship down there. Interesting that they've chosen to put that here. Yeah, very interesting port. Be glad you're not flying with me. As a passenger, you would be against the side of the plane right now. There you can see the runway right there. Going a little fast, but, you know, not a hard approach. But yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. Something very interesting that I've been meaning to check out, and now that they have touched up this area of the world, you can actually see the thing over there. Bank us around. There is the entrance right there, just sticking out of the side of the cliff. Very, very cool. All right, that'll do it for me today, guys. If you like the video, hey, like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. If you have a place you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments below. And if you're here to the end of the video, well, watch time is key on YouTube. Thanks for their attention, numbers. My name is Dinebot, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>